Hello and welcome to your 12th Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.2.5. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I've had some uh, big testing going on uh, for the past week and I will have some more testing going on in the coming week. So I won't be able to get out many tutorials. Um, but after that, I'll be able to get out my usual number of tutorials, hopefully. Um, so, I know I said I'd talk about ex how to do explosions or world generation, um, and I'm having some difficulties with that, um, just some bugs with Eclipse and MCP in regards to block multi-texturing, explosions, and, um, and world generation. So, what I decided I'd talk to you guys about today is how to add a physical block into the game. And so what I mean by this is what we're going to do, we are going to have it so that when you, when the player clicks on our block, it's going to place a few blocks in front of it. So let's get started. The, we're going to work mostly in our block tutorial block class, um, and we just need to add a few methods. So the first one is public um, boolean on block clicked and then we want world world int um, x int y int z and then entity player ep and return false what, what's it doing um we remove this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's not public boolean, it's public void on block. That's weird. Public void on block clicked. Okay, so now we want to do just something where it adds a couple blocks around our block. And let's first define a um, an integer. Uh, which will store the data for the block that we're going to place. So int block um, equals and then block dot block diamond dot block ID. And this is easier for us to type than block dot block diamond dot block ID uh, whenever we're doing our actual call um, statements. And then what we want to do is we want to, and this is the fun part, we want to do world dot set block with notify. And this this is x, y, z, and then our block. So we'll do block. And so what this will do is it will replace our tutorial block with a diamond block. Now, it doesn't actually add a block to the day to the game. Um, if you have if you have a bit of modding experience, you know that the air in Minecraft is not empty space. It is a block that is called air, which you can place if you're using something like MC Edit. Um, and so, what it's doing when it actually does this is it's replacing a block instead of actually adding one. So let's just do this against world dot set block with notify, but this time we'll do x plus one, uh, y, oops, z, not pz, z, block, and then I'll just copy this. Actually, I'll copy both of these, um, and we'll have y plus 1 x minus or not y plus 1 um, let's do z plus 1 and then z minus 1 and to make this easier to do in survival mode um, because I'm not actually quite sure how this works um, how well this works 
in creative mode since as soon as you click on the block it destroys it. So we'll just add our crafting recipe. Um, so mod loader dot add recipe new item stack tutorial block one and then new object I can't type today apparently okay and let's just do d d d for d block dot dirt oh I've also gotten a few questions um people's recipes haven't been working and what that is is you have to be sure that when you have the string here you have quotation marks but then when you're actually defining what each character means you have a um, apostrophe um, and that what that's doing is that's Java um, for what you're doing is you're saying this is a char variable and this is a string variable and a char is a single character a string is multiple characters so I got a few questions about that and let's go see how our block works single player new world six. Oh no we don't want that eh. sorry I was testing some stuff um, pay no attention to new world six and five and new world two is our survival mode so um, let's go ahead and try to craft our okay apparently our texture is not working but you'll see that when we did that it gave us our four diamond blocks around the outside so just to recap because this is a somewhat advanced thing uh, to do and when you're doing very large structures then you're going to want you will need to either plan it out beforehand or just do a lot of thinking and testing so we just added our new method on block clicked we defined our block now this is completely unnecessary by the way you could not do this line and just go block dot bed or something um, dot block ID you don't have to do that it just makes it easier to do um, because it's significantly easier to type if you have a long list of like a hundred lines of this um, also I may cover in a later tutorial some more advanced generation techniques um, for example using for loops to generate something uh, which makes your life a lot easier though it does produce some lag in the game um, and I want to talk to you guys about random world structure generation but it's giving me issues right now so bear with me I won't be able to get out many tutorials in the next few days but after that um, yeah so after that I'll be able to do more and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if there's anything you want to know how to do and I'll see you next time bye